Hey guys, it's Wes. Not your normal miner here. Today I got a fun one for you. Uh, we had a ramp and run. Going to walk you through that process on what we did. Walk you through the rigs that we used. Explain to you a little bit about how everything went down. It was kind of a ramp and then run at a slow pace. But that's what we're here to walk you through. As always, in the description down below, we'll have links to all this stuff so you guys could do your own research. That's what's most important. Solo mining is not recommended. The reason I say that is you can go extreme lengths of time without finding blocks. In the upper right hand corner I'm going to have a link to several videos to show you that. That's why we say solo mining is not recommended. You can be very lucrative, but when again, once again you can go days, weeks, months without finding it. One of those blocks and that's why we say solo mining is not recommended. Our little hashers even know solo mining is not recommended. But in the description down below we're going to have a link over to Mining Rig Rentals. That's where we've been using to get some hash. We have been pointing that hash over at Ethereum Solo Pool on TwoMiners.com. The reason I like TwoMiners.com is they do have some different servers. Depending on what part of the world our hash that we're renting is at, we'll point it to different servers. And we've been very successful keeping those rented rigs close to the servers in those continents. I hope that makes sense. But today we're talking with you about Ramp and Run using Ethereum Solo Pool over at 2miners.com and we've been using mining rig rentals. It's always in the description down below. We've got links to all this stuff. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscription bell. We're coming up on a thousand subscribers. You guys aren't going to want to miss that giveaway. But today we're talking with you about ramping and running using mining rig rentals and Ethereum Solo Pool over at 2miners.com. We are a cryptocurrency mining based channel and we focus on pool testing, solo mining, overclock setting testings, how to's. We did build that remote garden location specifically meant so we could show you guys everything we did to so the electric updates and also heat removal. That's what's scaling up and that's multiple GPU and ASIC mining rigs. Here you can see that's a remote garden location where we do our pool testing and all those shenanigans. But anytime we're solo mining, and it doesn't matter what coin, doesn't matter what algorithm, I always like to head over to first in the description down below. I'll have a link to this miningpoolstats.stream. You can find all sorts of fun stuff. Um, you can find uh, pool fees, which is very important, minimum payouts, which is something that else is going to affect you as your miners, um, how many miners are online. You're also going to find that seven day history. Just because it's the number one pool doesn't mean it's always paying out the most. You guys will see that in a bunch of our pool testings. <laughs> And that little hasher says yes, just because it's number one doesn't mean it always pays out. So please guys, do your own research as always. That's what I like to tell you, but in the description down below we'll have links to this. Um, but we did a ramp and run, about 130 giga hash per second. Couldn't keep things um, poolside anywhere close to 100 giga hash, so we can canceled that rental. Ended up following it up with about a 30 giga hash per second rental for a little over uh, three hours. Then it kind of peaked down to about 10 giga hash per second. But with that estimated time, and over on 2CryptoCalc.com, I got the link in the description down below. It should take about 22 hours on estimate to time to find block. Now, that doesn't mean you're going to find it. You guys know that. We've got videos in the upper right-hand corner. We'll show you all that. It's estimate. You could find 10 blocks in that time. You could go 22 years and never find a block. And I'm dead serious when I say that, guys. So mining is not recommended because of the time that you could go without finding blocks. And some people just can't afford those misses. We've been using mining rig rentals. Like I said, I got a link in the description down below. If you guys like mining rig rentals, comment, tell me why. Give us a thumbs up. If you don't like mining rig rentals, give us a thumbs down. Tell us why you don't like it. You better tell us why you don't like it, though. So we had 5 giga hash for a little over 6 hours, 20 giga hash for 3 hours, 5 giga hash for 8 hours. We're going to take you over to our mining dashboard, and I got a description down below, the link to this, so you guys can always keep an eye on it. But I'm going to show you here our reward was at 9.38 p.m. You guys can see that block reward there. 9.38 p.m. Keep that in mind. This rental ended at 10.53, 1.15, So that was our ramp and run. It was more of a jog with this because our ramp and run of 130 giga hash per second was very unsuccessful, but we had some refunds from that and that's what we were able to use to fund this. So all in that ramp and run, and we're gonna get here poolside and you can kind of see where that was. We'll come right down here. Here's where we tried to ramp and run. We should have been at 130 giga hash that whole time. We didn't, so it dropped down right around in here. 
when we found that block. So guys, like I said, ramp and run is definitely not recommended. Um, it's something you can be very successful at. If you guys are keeping up on the channel, we were using mining rig rentals and, and two miners.com, their solo pool over there for Ethereum. If you guys like this kind of stuff, please comment down below, tell me why. If you don't like it, you better comment down below and tell us why you didn't like this video. But once again, we've been talking with you about a ramp and run, um, using mining rig rentals to solo mine Ethereum. Also in the description down below, I have links to Twitter where you can follow us for our latest shenanigans, and you can also keep up with us over on Discord. That's where you can speak to us directly. Don't forget to check out that link below. Um, not your normal miner swag is in. That's right. We do have our Bitcoin accepted here shirts. You guys can pick those up. In the description down below, you'll be able to find that stuff. But today we've been talking with you about using mining rig rentals, solo mining, over on 2miners.com, solo mining Ethereum. This is Wes, not your normal miner. Thank you.